Why do people hate God? It's God who gives us the seasons. It's God who gives us the animals to eat. It's God who gives us the herbs. It's God who gives us our children. It's God who gives us the breath of life. It's God who gives us our beginning. And it's Almighty God who will give us our end. So it's all down to God. But out there, we become conceited. We become angry. All this nonsense when I see God, I'll give you a piece of my mind. It's nonsense. It's earthly nonsense. If you read in the book of Revelation, John was caught up in the spirit and he saw Christ in all his glory. And he fell on his knees as dead. That's the power of God. People out there, because of the oddness of our hearts and our unbelieving hearts, Things will happen, but take it to the Lord. He's there to listen. Now, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, this life is in the son of the living God. So if you're having problems out there, Cry out to the Lord, there's no embarrassment out there to trying to get us to, to be mighty men of the flesh. Learn all this nonsense, it's earthly nonsense. God is a consuming fire, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You may have a body like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but it won't profit you. You may, you may be, be a, a mighty, mighty boxer, boxer like Muhammad Ali. Ali. It, it will, will not profit you. Yet. You, you may, may be a Wall Street accountant with your billions of dollars. It's not going to profit you. Yet. You may be uh, an astronaut going around the earth several times. It's not going to profit you. The words that I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life. The Lord talks about the flesh profiting nothing. It profits nothing. It's only the Lord Jesus Christ who can give us life. It's only the Lord Jesus Christ who can save us from this present evil world. Now as I look out there, Amen. You see your brother? Amen. Amen. Thank you, brother. Amen. As I look out there, it's all vanity. We're trying to camouflage over our sorrows and pain. That's why we drink. That's why we're on the drugs. That's why we're wearing a ton of makeup. That's why we're on the steroids, building up our bodies. It's all vanity. And I've been there. I'm a car, I've been a culprit. If it didn't have the right clothing or the right age gel, I wasn't looking at myself in the mirror for five hours a day. But it's all vain. It's all vanity. I see it. I see it now. And I see it in people. We need Jesus. We need the Lord Jesus Christ to forgive our sins. We need the Lord Jesus Christ in our life. Jesus says, come unto me, all ye that labor and that heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now, when you look at Christ children's ministry, he was born into poverty. A lot of people out there are going through problems financially, but the Lord Jesus Christ has nothing. But all this belongs to Jesus. We're walking on his pavement, we're breathing his air in. All the gold and silver it is. A thousand cattle and a thousand hills it is. If I was hungry, I wouldn't tell you. It's all this. But because we have the spirit of the Antichrist out there, that's it. Now the evil's out there to deceive you. Before I came to, uh, to Jesus, I had many um, weirdo experiences. I always ask people now and again to believe in God, and I always got this response, no, very aggressive. It's spiritual. I did a bit of jujitsu, and one night this guy lined us all up, 
and he said to us individually, we don't believe in God, do we don't believe in God, do you? And that happened. I mentioned this to an ex-martial artist in Manchester, and he said the man demon possessed, and that's it, spiritual. Our bodies are vessels. Our bodies